You ready? I'm ready, brother. All right, let's see. It's crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Hey, life's a risk, carnal. Tell me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I do a great impression of a hot dog. Billy likes to drink soda. So am I to understand that you men completed your training on your own? That's the fact, Jack! Come on, seriously, who is that? I only came here to do two things, man. Kick some ass and drink some beer. <laughs> it's like we're almost out of beer. What's going on, watchers? This is Lucky, the dork dad, and with me as always is little Joe. What is up, watchers? What's going on? What's going What's on, Lucky? And this is Now Watch This. So, if you're listening for the first time, this is a podcast where we watch a movie or a TV show or something you recommend, and and we do a little commentary style. You can watch along with us, join in the fun. Sometimes we'll talk about the movie, sometimes we don't, but we're watching it anyways. But <laughs> Yeah. So... What were you? What you been doing this past week? Well, I mean, again, we won't get into the the work aspect of it, but uh, other than that, man, I, I was sun? able to get out, and get get into the sun, get under this Texas sun that kicked my ass, Lucky. <laughs> uh, but but you know, we went out, we got out on on uh, Canyon Lake a little bit, and All right. had, had a little bit of uh, fun in the sun. Had to do my uh, family duties there. Uh, we've been so busy with uh, work and then baseball and and everyone tied up in their own thing. Is uh, it was our first time we were able to get out ourselves together and and go do something, man. So uh, it's some uh, family time, man. Yeah, man. It, it was good. It was good, except for the sun kicking my ass, man. <laughs> That's that Texas heat. Well, it's too, and um, uh, we had a friend that was going to meet us out there, and, and they had a they were going to bring a canopy. So uh, we didn't take ours, and um, they didn't end up showing up. <laughs> so <laughs> we were cooking, things happen, bro. Things happen. Yeah, and, and I blame myself, man. I, I should have been more prepared than that. You I know, should bring it anyways. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing, and 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 uh, we're pretty good about it. But um, I mean, we were originally thinking of going Sunday, so I was thinking I was going to have Saturday to prep, and then uh, Saturday ended up. Uh, not being a work day, so we went Saturday instead, and you know, again, things happen, but it was a good day. It was a good day. I mean, fucking Canyon Lake was beautiful. Uh, it was fun. Man, we should have gone out there. Yeah, because Saturday was my wife's birthday, so um, yeah, we did that. <laughs> Joe, y'all, y'all end up doing anything? Or no, we just going on? we went out. To, uh, my in laws wanted to take her out for breakfast, so we all did that as a family, and then um, just kind of. Spent the day together. Um, I was I was tired though because I uh, worked nights the night before. So. Oh, dude, the, <laughs> the the shift man is yeah crazy. yeah yeah. So um, I'm rotating back to days this week. So yeah, I was worried about you today, man. I was just like, uh, is he gonna be is he gonna be tired? Is he gonna be ready to take that nap? No, I'm good. I was I was dozing off a little bit, but uh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so this movie we're getting into today. Uh, was our first pick out of the watch box. Uh, picked by Rich Elstonestro from the RLU, um, which is a classic 80s movie that I remember watching as a kid. Maybe inappropriate, but, you know. <laughs> it is rated R, but uh, whatever. Uh, the movie was Scott Bayo and Willie Ames. Here's the thing about this movie. Um, oh, well, the first from our watch box. Yes, sir. Uh, as picked by our watchers, uh, Rich El Sinestro. Now, when Rich first picked this movie, I thought he had the uh, the 2000, what was it, 2014 remake <laughs> or 2018 <laughs> with, remake. With Zendaya. Uh, with Zendaya. So I ended up watching that, and I was, uh, I was real disappointed. <laughs> and I was like, what's, what's Rich thinking? <laughs> I think there's been a few incarnations. I think... Uh, when I was looking it up, trying to find it digitally, which I yeah. couldn't, uh, I had to buy the DVD. Dude, I Amazon. couldn't find it anywhere. And even in the, the damn bootleg apps that I have, <laughs> uh, people weren't even bootlegging this shit. So yeah, it was tough to find. Um, yeah. but I think they did like, uh, there was a zapped again, which I don't, 
I don't remember that one. I think there was a TV series at one point. I, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I don't know about the TV series. You might be thinking of Charles in Charge because <laughs> maybe it's, it's basically same the, guys. You know, our two leads here. So now I remember this movie as a kid, um, but I remember it being on cable a lot. So. It wouldn't show all the parts that oh, it showed. And then the first time I saw it, like, on HBO or something, I was like, whoa. Oh, yeah. I got an interesting story about um, <laughs> um, a part in this movie. Um, oh, we're going to have to get into it. If, if anybody has this movie, um, <laughs> uh, we're going to start it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I bet Rich has this movie on, on Blu-ray already. Uh Maybe. I know it's out there on Blu-ray. And I got the DVD version. But. So, we're starting this movie. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all can watch along if, if you can find it. Yeah, so this it. is uh, Scott Bayo and Willie Ames. And, and everyone knew Scott Bayo from uh, Happy Days originally. Yes. Then, Chachi? Yeah, then Joni loves Chachi. And everyone loves Scott Bayo. Um, and, and Willie Ames was, uh, I believe he was on like eight is, eight is enough or, or one of those so. shows. So, where he started. so they were both, uh, sitcom stars already. I feel lost. I don't have my phone, but that's right. <laughs> um, I took some notes. Um, so zapped this movie came out in 1982. Uh, of course, starring Scott Bayo. <laughs> His, uh, his character in the movie, his name is Barney, and Willie Ames is Peyton. Peyton. But I, like, since watching Charles in Charge and, and watching this, I can't call that dude nothing else but Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Willie Ames. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this was, this was made in the vein of, um, in in the eighties, there was a lot of these uh, these these crazy uh, teen comedies, and uh, really sex driven. <laughs> had to have some kind of nudity in them. Uh, you know, there was uh, screwballs, meatballs, uh, porkies. That was real big. Oh yeah. And then uh, even um, Revenge of the Nerds is around this time. So, you know, uh, it, it 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 falls into those categories of, of those. Uh, Classic 80s uh, uh, sex comedies. <laughs> I I know he was like a, a scientist. And this is supposed to be high school. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he's got this, this little mice in a fish tank and like a scuba diving suit. It's just funny. <laughs> so <laughs> he's supposed to be testing how, I guess, uh, alcohol affects them. Uh, the mice here, so uh, that's what they're doing, but uh, secretly, uh, they're growing a little bit of uh, of the marijuana in there. <laughs> Willie Ames, of course. And so, you had a lot of this in, in, in the 80s, too, is where you have the uh, main character, pretty straight lace, uh, nerdy kind of guy. And his friend, that's the wild and crazy, you know, uh, popular guy or, or at least funny guy or, or something like that. Uh, you know, think about like uh, Michael J. Fox and, and Styles in Back to the Future. I mean, in uh, Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf, yeah. yeah. Uh, something like that. Get the subtitles. What's going on? Closed captions. I said I thought I put that on. Put on in Spanish. So. <laughs> <laughs> Bone up a little bit. See, and here, here's the thing too: is it's this movie came out in what, like 80, 82, 83? 1982. 1982. So this was before Charles in Charge. I saw Charles in Charge probably before I saw this movie, so it it, it was a little bit weird, or a little bit different. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, again, this girl to <laughs> I forgot to I forgot to write down her name. And uh, uh, our, her, that that girl, I believe this is her her first movie. That's uh, a girl named Heather Thomas. Yes. And I guess she was pretty popular in in, in the eighties. 
But I mean, look at his friend there. I thought that was a teacher walking with him. <laughs> uh, For real, it's like fucking uh, Greece with the the kids, the students that could About be forty years teachers. old. Yeah, <laughs> look at him. Come on, he's not even trying, bro. Uh, that's the way it was back in the day. Like these guys are in high school, really? Yeah, they got like three kids. <laughs> I guess you know it, 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 it. It's a lot like uh, Porky's, but I was a big Porky's fan, man. That was one of my favorites. I, I'd uh, have to revisit that one. I know I've seen it. It's just um, and so yeah, the Porky's Porky Porky's had I believe three movies that came out in the in the eighties and shit. They were all good, but they were they were uh, I don't know. Like it was a it was a sex comedy, I guess. But uh, like like I remember uh, the main bad dude. He was like. Part of the KKK and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was all fucked up. And then they had this uh, this kid that uh, in the first movie would have a fight, and it's like he's he, the kid's Jewish, so the other guy don't like him, and and they fight. <laughs> it's fucking funny. The, the the Jewish kid kicks his ass, and uh, that kid goes home, and he gets his ass kicked. Even more by his dad because he got his ass kicked by a Jewish kid. It's pretty fucked up. I'm like, this is in the middle of a comedy. It's another thing that's in like almost all '80s movies. It's like the whole high school is in the auditorium for some kind of meeting. This dude is classic '80s too, right? Yeah. Like uh, this uh, principal-looking guy. Are you in the DVD settings? You might just be in the TV settings, bro. Well, this is a DVD remote. Oh, okay. Yo no sé. What the heck? All right. Screw it. Well, I can't get the, the closed captain, so we're just going to watch it <laughs> uh, like that. We don't need words. <laughs> okay. So getting back to it, the, the what is this? The, the principal did, and he's, you know, they're opening up their, uh, looks like uh, their school year. And that dude is, is classic 80s, right? Like. I, yeah, I think he was on he's so been like a lot of stuff. Um, I remember him being on uh, Three's Company. There's a uh, oh, what's his name again in the movie? Uh, Peyton. 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 I, I swear, I just want to call him Buddy. This whole movie, though, I mean, I know it's rated R, but um, like every little while they're like doing dirty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, that, that's why they're like, don't bother. Look, look. He's got the camera around his neck, and he just, he's like, I'm going to go take some pictures. Yeah, he's supposed to be, like, uh, uh, smooth, right? Like, 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 like a pimp, like, or... And again, this is high school. Yeah. And is, is she, like, uh... She, she's supposed to be, like, a counselor? (laughs) And he's (laughs) taking pictures of her. And, like, come on. Yeah. This is where we got all the, you know... The ideas of <laughs> fantasies of kids, students making out with teachers and stuff. Yeah, like, but fucking in our day, man, the fucking teachers were, were horrible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and okay, so this dude too, I remember, I mean, Scatman Crothers. Yeah. Yeah. I, and, I like this dude. And like he's, you know, fresh off the shining. <laughs> he's looking for his stash of whiskey. <laughs> Mixing things up, I think he's the one that made the uh, the serum here. Yeah, yeah, the secret serum. It's always some freak accident, like oh. And, and that, that was the thing in the eighties, right? They always had the 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 science lab, and it was uh, it's always some some shit, and it makes some kind of green mixture. <laughs> <laughs> like oh shit, that's it. But there was a lot of these movies too in the eighties. Like I remember they had the the Invisible Kid, um. That had to do with what you call it, you know, a um, uh, little science kid that, that uh, you know, he ends up mixing some shit accidentally, takes it, and he becomes invisible. And then, you know, <laughs> the shit that happens after that. Uh, who does not want to be invisible? <laughs> Look at, but he's coming back and he's got his... I'm telling put, you. Putting his pants in. He was making out with that, that counselor. Again, I want to go to this high school. <laughs> 
Right, and then the fucking the the coach, like, he knows. <laughs> and it, I think, man, like I know, almost every school I went to, you had that that one coach that was all all pimp, and you'd always hear the fucking rumors about him, like, oh, this motherfucker did this, and this motherfucker did that. <laughs> uh, he's, he, he's fucking the 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 gym te- the female gym teacher over there. Like buddy mixing up with the concoction too, put him beer in it. <laughs> I mean, and this is in a high school, man. They're just hanging around with beer. I know, right? <laughs> no big deal. The coach has some whiskey stashed. Homie's drinking beer. Why would the coach have the whiskey stashed in the science lab <laughs> <laughs> with all the other beaker bottles and all this stuff? <laughs> and of course, the typical, you know, nerdy best friend. Yeah, that that they always make it like, oh, well, she's nerdy, but if she took off her glasses and put her hair down, yeah, she'd be kind of cute. Clark can effect. Like, <laughs> yeah, that happened a lot. They always had glasses when she took them off. Oh my god, you're beautiful. So they said the the way these movies kind of came about is um, in the eighties again, you know, or late seventies these. Movies start coming out like Animal House and and um, uh, Meatballs and and they're kind of low budget comedies, but they see that they're making money, so right away Sex they sells. yeah <laughs> they start you know every movie starts coming out and it's you you start seeing all these movies that I mean for us that kind of grew up in the eighties we're like oh yeah that's classic, but you know that's what they were that's what it was it was about you know what I mean like. They all went and did their own thing. I mean, I like this. <laughs> you notice the the mouse was able to <coughs> move the move the cheese towards him, and he's freaking out like, "What's going on?" And he's trying to give him the mouse more dosage, and <laughs> and the mouse is like using his telekinesis to to move the bottle away, and then a big explosion and. And that's, dun, dun, dun. and that's the way it happens, right? Like, it's, it's always that explosion. Oh, he survives. You know, what happened? Oh, I'm starting to feel these these, these senses. It's the whole Spider-Man effect. Getting bit by the radioactive spider. But again, it's like... The, the, I, I talked about it um, last week or the week before last. The reason we, we keep going back to these movies because, you know... As the 90s came along and, and now in the 2000s, there's not a lot of original stuff being made. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I mean, especially this one. They've, re- they've rebooted this movie. Yeah. It's not the same. I mean, it was on the Disney Channel. <laughs> yeah. With Zendaya. It, it would have been... <laughs> it, it probably would have would have been a little bit more successful if it was the same. <laughs> but, you know, it, recognize the times. I guess you, you can't make <laughs> these kind of movies anymore. This is another... But they should... This is another uh, 80s cliche. The mom can never cook. She's always a bad cook. Reminds me of uh, Better Off Dead. It's one of my favorite yeah. movies. Where the mom is always making these weird things to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and look, that dad's not even paying attention. He's just like, yeah, barely looks up from his paper. Dad's always reading the newspaper in these <clears throat> yeah. movies. Now, I wonder what this did to uh, his image, Scott Bayo's at the time. Because... He was just—he was still doing Happy Days and Johnny loves Chachi. Joni loves Chachi. Yeah, I and, and he was uh, the teen star, right? Like, like the teen beat. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I mean, he comes out, and I think a year after this is when they did Charles in Charge. So, yeah, I mean, he, he was had steady work because uh, I did look up those dates. Happy Days. I know he was in the later seasons, but mm-hmm. that ran all the way to 1984. And then Charles and Charge started in 1984. So Yeah. And this movie was 1982. So, I mean, this is this is peak Bayo right here, man. Yeah. Teen Beat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tiger Magazine, whatever that is. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Parents so concerned. What's wrong with you? Are you on drugs? <laughs> Might have to get whipped for slamming the door. <laughs> slamming no fucking door in my house. He's like, I'm right here. <laughs> Blame it on the dog. But it, it's funny, right? Like, like he, it, 
like you said, it's it's the Spider Man effect where you wake up or or you come to and you start noticing all these little uh, powers you have. <laughs> no, I think what drew me to this movie as a kid, um, uh, aside from other things that happen here, but uh, yeah, 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 it's like this is like a power that everyone would want to have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like the raunchy version of a carrier or something. Well, that's where the idea of the movie kind of came about is that they said, um, Im- imagine Carrie, but with a fucking horny teenage boy. <laughs> and and that's basically what you get, right? Like, yeah, because he's your typical teenage teenager, horny, mm-hmm. always looking at chicks, but you know, he's too nerdy to, to get any chicks. So <laughs> yeah, I think like the, like the one chick tells him is like, uh, Hey, you going to the senior dance? Why don't you take one of your rats? Look like, at this bitch. Look at this dude. <laughs> this dude has to be in his 30s. Um, and here we go, the popular girl, right? It's always, there's one popular girl that she's untouchable, this and that. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That dude's fucking parent had to come to class with him or something. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Both of those two, I, two dudes in the middle and the back, they were fucking out drinking all night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always like this, like the principal and the teacher, like they got something going on. Like, oh, yeah. He, and okay, now those were the kind of fucking principals and teachers we had in our day. Nowadays, like you go up to your kid's school, it's like, like it's all fucking young teachers and, and everything like that. They don't have the old mean ass fucking teachers. That's what they need. <laughs> uh, that's why they be hooking up. Like <laughs> yeah. the teacher's like two years older than you, right? She just <laughs> fucking graduated. <laughs> oh yeah, is it classic eighty rocker uh, Bad punk boy. guy? Yeah, you ever do like anything stupid with your hair like back in the day when, <laughs> when you had hair? <laughs> um. I try to do do my hair blonde. <laughs> you ever do that? <laughs> try to bleach, no. bleach your hair. <laughs> I had no. I had a fucking. I had um. I grew up with with uh, a lot of like two of my god sisters would watch me a lot, and um, one of them grew into like there were eighties girls, so grew into Madonna and and Got all, all that shit. And yeah, stuff. um, and they fucking peroxide in my hair but they did it like in a stripe down the middle so i look like a fucking skunk for here summer. we go <laughs> that's another uh thing in 80s movies I always fantasized about being with a popular girl <laughs> yeah uh, so like i had a fucking stripe down down my down my head one year and then i thought i was a fucking skateboarder so I fucking shaved like the side of my hair one, one year. <laughs> uh, again, everybody's horny. He was fantasizing about being with the, uh, yeah, about with the popular chick, and uh, and he's yeah. got a little chub, and he's got called up to the to the front of the class. He's like, uh, oh, no, nope. we know how 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 <laughs> school is, and that's how it happens. Is you it only happens when you get called up to the fucking front of the class. <laughs> I'm like, huh? What? Uh, oh shit! And then uh, every like, fucking guy has been there. Old school. I don't know if they still do it. Have maps above the chalkboard. Who's right. able to? Uh, everyone has. Everyone <clears throat> pulls out their iPad and shit like that. Now. Is able to lower. Look at that dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's like. Uh, Look at look at the pervert fucking principal fucking uh, horning after her. It's so crazy, <laughs> bro. I swear that was my deal. That was the only Mexican I've seen in, in this fucking like, thing too. Uh, that, that's why they don't have any because fucking Mexicans, even when we're young, fucking look old. <laughs> they all had a mustache. Fucking I had mustache a go- at thirteen. <laughs> I had a goatee when I was twelve. <laughs> Oh, uh, forget, I used to buy buy beer at seventeen. Again, admiring the popular girls. It's like if I woulda, coulda, shoulda. And that's that that eighties fucking polo. Not it's not a polo, but was it a Lacoste? Shirt. 
Uh, I don't know. With the little alligator? Yeah, with the little alligator on there. <laughs> hey, they're more expensive now. <laughs> Just like, are your kids in the champion? No, well, okay. Again, it, it came and went, like, for a summer or for, for one year that they were like, yeah, we yeah we get champion stuff. I was like, what? Like, back in the day, that wasn't cool, man. Oh, that, they used to sell that at Kmart. You yeah. Know? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I couldn't believe this whole champion thing. And we were at the mall this weekend, and I saw, um, I think we are in PacSun. And I saw they had a whole setup for Russell Athletic. <laughs> oh no shit in, in Paxson? Yeah and I was like If they bring that shit back Come on Yeah That was just as bad as Champion that, Well that's That's the fucking Walmart brand That I used to be able To buy my kids When they didn't know Any better And now that they do They're like I'm Fucking wearing these Fucking <laughs> Walmart shirts bro. What the hell Yeah they're talking To the popular girl And he Envisions her Blouse is popping open and it does. Oh my god! <laughs> and look, look at his fucking his, his patch on his jacket, bro. It says T Winkle College. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Uh, oh, and then like, okay, they, I know we don't have the captain John, but he's fucking talking shit to her in there. So he's like, "You better not ever let that happen again." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh <laughs> shit!" Like he's like, uh, like fucking, he's gonna beat her. Fucking thought she fucking flashed him or something. He's like, what the hell is going on? I, I think I just made that happen. Again, the best power in the world, I think, as a <laughs> teenager. I don't know, man. I, you know. Or invisibility. Invisibility, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that shit. They didn't even fucking clean up. He's like, hmm, what happened here? You got to think, too. Okay, so this is 82. I want to say it's late 70s that. The Nutty Professor originally comes out. So now this is just like a, a teenage kind of take on it. Yeah, it could be. Well, but it's like I said, like, like they had, you know, they had in mind. It's, it's, you know, what if Carrie was a fucking teenage boy? <laughs> this is definitely what would happen. I'm telling you, right? See, this is this has got to be better than invisibility. <laughs> He's a freaking Jedi, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's a, he's a Jedi without the lightsabers. But it's still like you can't. He, well, I guess he can. He can kind of do this in front of people, but you just like to be cochino. Just oh, hiding. Yeah, yeah. I always think about invisibility, <laughs> and the thing is, like, in order to be completely anonymous, like, you'd have to be naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you're you're fucking uh, Sue Storm in fucking in uh in uh Fantastic Four. You'd have to be butt naked. And what I like about movies that are like about invisibility, they always show them like something happens and like they turn back to normal and they're all naked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that that was just like uh, like I said that that movie I was talking about the Invisible Kid I think it was the Invisible Kid um, I, I that's what I remember it's like uh, the friends playing jokes on the other friend and he's all laughing and laughing and then slowly but surely he starts to become visible again he's like oh shit <laughs> so, you know the nerdy nerdy girlfriend and the and the best friend are checking him out he's like. Cleaning up and using his powers, like, what the hell's going on? There's always someone that has to know. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. Oh fuck! Look at him, bro. Oh, That's kind of vicious. That's me. It's like, bitch, you better fix those. <laughs> so she had those thick ass fucking glasses. She took them off, and she could see perfectly. I know, right? <laughs> She's like, bro, I take off my glasses right now. I can't see shit. He had on glasses earlier, too. Oh, that's only, it's like, when, that only was when he's thing. doing science stuff, bro. That was the thing. Like, if you wore glasses, you're a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
like Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah. <laughs> Poindexter. Yeah, that that was a the classic eighties, you know, if you had glasses, they call you four eyes, you know. Now it's like, hey, I need to see. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Poor my kids, all my kids, like uh well my uh my my oldest he had glasses for a real little while and then like it wasn't like that bad, I guess. <laughs> Uh, He's like, yeah, I don't need them. Yeah, my middle son, he wears glasses. And my, my daughter, of course, because she has her eye deal, she, she wears glasses. And my wife, man, me and my wife were fucking blind. <laughs> man, I wish we had the caption. Fucking <laughs> 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 uh, Scott Bale, man. The, 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 okay, these motherfuckers are leads in the movie, but they're they're so fucking small, right? Like... <laughs> Like, nowadays, everyone's fucking all fucking Marvel fucking buff. You know what I mean? Like, what these kids make it nowadays. No. And, like, you have to be, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just different now. Oh, prune juice. He's spiking, yeah. spiking the prune juice. Fuck that. And the parents always think they're weirder. <laughs> What's going on? It's like a... Uh, What's that? That one movie where uh, Jim Carrey's a vampire, uh, fucking uh, once bitten. Once bitten. Yeah, he, he's there talking to his parents. He fucking drinks blood, and the mom's just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, Scott Baio don't look like either of those motherfuckers either. He's all Italian. They're fucking white, in my way. <laughs> they're they're the whitest of white people, and uh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Pissed him off. Bro, you wasted the rum. <laughs> right. It's like what happened? It's Metaclorians, man. For real. I don't know. Like, like me, I always think of like, okay, if I got a fucking if I got a super superpower, how how is it gonna get me money? Like, I need to get some money. Yes. I'd be fucking oh, I'd be the, robbing. All the Star Wars fans are probably hating this. <laughs> There's a Star Trek esque. I think it's Star Trek. Dude, yeah, and uh, this is so fucking tripped out. Like, it, okay, it goes into a whole fucking scene, right? Like a whole fucking <laughs> like, like, it, like for five minutes, it goes into a whole another fucking movie. Like, was it in the water? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He's he's making this uh, spaceship fly around his room. <laughs> uh, that's the Enterprise, right? That's what I'm saying. It looks like it, but I don't know if it's. I think it's a little different, just because, whatever. Uh, fucking rights. But it's very similar. That's what it looks like. Ah, like he's, oh, he's imagining now. Oh, look at the Nike. <laughs> 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 it's like this. Oh, look, look, that's probably the one Mexican they got in the movie. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. he's imagining like this Star Trek crew, and they got jumpsuits, which looks like they got Nike shirts on. <laughs> Oh, I never <laughs> noticed that. That's too funny. And that's okay. Like so, in in, in uh, think about we're going into this movie. We're gonna do it. Like I read somewhere or, or or saw a clip where they talked about like yeah they go into this like Star Trek scene. And I was like, what the fuck? I, I don't ever remember <laughs> that. And then I saw uh, it and I was like, oh my god. Again, what? I, that's another thing. These movies have to have like some kind of mannequin or ventriloquist dummy. Oh, dude, like one, I'm not having that shit in my house. Like, fuck. That's that. scary as hell. That is the creepiest shit. It reminds me of, like the poltergeist. Yeah. Or the clown. Yeah. Oh, no. Fuck no. that. <laughs> uh, first of all, why do you even have something that creepy? You know? I don't, like, I remember when I was a kid, we stayed with. Uh, we stay with uh, one of my aunts, um, you know, uh, and and when we'd go stay over there, is they had this garage and they had in the garage they had a fucking uh, a clown doll that was creepy as fuck, and this was around the fucking, um, I mean of course it's it's around poltergeist and shit like that, but then in the same room they had this painting. That wherever the fuck you went, like, the eyes on this painting fucking followed you. 
I like hate going over like there. The the picture of Jesus in Born East LA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, we gotta watch that one. Un tall boy. <laughs> Un tall boy. <laughs> Give me uh, beer. I want the yeah. beer now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Look at the mom. Oh mom. Uh, uh, now, now yeah yeah now she thinks she's fucking possessed by Satan. And he loves it. <laughs> That's something. These eighties movies, nobody cared about the parents. <laughs> the parents were always whack jobs. They, and it was a, it was kind of like um, you remember the parents in the fight in, in the in the uh, Beastie Boys video for a fight fight for <laughs> it, right? Yeah. It, it was kind of like that, or or the dad in the fucking uh, Twisted Sister video. What do you want? I want to rock. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking got chipped. <laughs> I like the special effects. Like you can tell, it's hanging by a rope or string. <laughs> <laughs> but who the fuck walks around with a block of cheese eating it like that? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, he fuck. had it there for the mice. That was Swiss. That wasn't government cheese either. <laughs> <laughs> it's fancy, and it was always too like um, in the eighties. The fantasy girl was a blonde, right? All the always, time. Always. And and the uh, down to earth fucking nerdy good looking girl was brunette. Always. Right? They always wore pink. Yeah, and the, and the, so and then the girl was, you know, always a little bit uh nerdy. She's like, I'm gonna test your power. Do you, okay, and then so they kinda started a little something here and I, I I'm not exactly sure when it comes up, but they go into a whole fucking music video. <laughs> like like they play a whole song and again that's another 80s thing yeah so this movie what let, let's see what's the runtime runtime's 98 minutes about three and a half of those minutes are a fucking music video <laughs> <laughs> uh again i remember better off dead um yes when uh <laughs> he's working at the uh burger place uh, and like, it, yeah, I'll show you what everybody wants. Yeah, <laughs> and it goes into this whole fucking scene, right? Look at the little burgers, uh, like little clay stop motion little music music video. Oh, and this takes me back, man. Like nowadays, you know, my my kids' uh, team's uniform they're all fucking nice and fancy and stuff like that. Back in the day, we had one fucking uniform. <laughs> And that shit had to last the whole year. And then we had fucking, we had caps like this, the fucking trucker caps. Trucker caps. With just one letter on the on the front. The kids wear, still wear them stirrups? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's there's certain kids that do. My kid will. And I ain't never seen no cheerleaders at no baseball game. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, look at this guy. Come on, bro. <laughs> This dude's 45 years old. <laughs> uh, I forget this actor's name, but he's in a lot of 80s movies, too. Yeah, yeah. He's like this big, bully type of guy. Yeah, he, he's always the, 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 the villain type dude, right? Come on. This dude runs hits for the mob. The <laughs> 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 oh, helmet don't even fit his head. Uh, come on. Uh, but he's, is bro, it buddy? No, Peyton. No, no, it's Peyton, buddy. Peyton. Peyton's like, bro, you could have stopped the ball. You just let him hit a home run on me. <laughs> but again, oh, look, yeah, he's a fucking pitcher too. <laughs> uh, and the stud blowing kisses to the popular girl. No. Oh. He's like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? They have a mascot there. <laughs> uh, Again, I went to a lot of high school baseball games this this uh, this past spring, and none of them had cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> none of them had fucking what you call. <laughs> none, none of them had mascots. Is another thirty year old. <laughs> this is so. Funny. <laughs> uh, oh look, yeah, and then again, they can't complain because they got the other old guy fucking cat as the catcher. They're 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 old forty year old buddy. <laughs> no, he's bitching. He's like, <laughs> he's like chunking it. <laughs> and it, it yeah. but it, it was always too is like uh, 
the the girls that that you like or or the girls that were in high school that you like they weren't um they weren't dating like they were always dating a college guy right like yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh well, he, yeah. she's dating a, a guy in college like uh like uh what's that can't buy me love you know yeah. she's dating a college guy yeah uh fucking um fast times at Richmond high the girls dating a college guy it's like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think Scatman's got to know that this kid has the shining. <laughs> yeah. it's like, oh, let me just stop the ball. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the way it happens. And he's supposed to be Scott Bell's supposed to be this nerd, right? Yeah. And you're telling me he's on the high school baseball team? Get out of here! <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah. But this is like, uh, you know, they've been always portrayed as small town, so. I imagine like like small town. It's you only got a certain amount of kids at the school anyway. You know what I mean? Everybody plays everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His friend always trying, and she flirts with him. The popular yeah. girl flirts with him. Because supposedly he he's supposed to be rich anyway. Like like he's he's rich, and I don't ever see him flaunt it or nothing or anything like that. But like he's supposed to be rich and and. Kind of, I guess, popular in his own right. <laughs> but again, you know, the the girl's going to go with the college guy. Yeah. This girl, too. She's like 27. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's another drive. If high school kids look like these people, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he's got bail, man. He's fucking, he has powers. He's just walking home. Oh, something's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's like, they moon him. He's like, oh, oh yeah, okay. boom, there we go. <laughs> you going to moon me? <laughs> <laughs> Pop open your shirts. <laughs> That's fucked up. Uh, You've been like fucking, uh, what's, what's that fucking one movie? Um, uh, where, oh, um, <laughs> where Will Smith, Will Smith's a superhero. Hancock. Yeah, Hancock, and he's like, I'm going to put your head up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I don't understand mooning at all. It's like, yeah, <clears throat> like, really? That's a thing? He's like, I'm going to show you my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you so much, I'm going to show you my ass. I don't know, man. Like, have you ever fucking drove with your friends kind of, I guess, maybe a far distance and stuff like that? You always had that one stupid friend that is like, hey, fucking pull up next to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to moon him. I'm going to yeah. moon him. <laughs> I remember, okay, like, uh, but we used to work at um at a driving place uh, at the auto auction. It's over here on Ackerman. And a lot of times you get taken in a van to go pick up cars and then you drive those cars back, right? Uh-huh. And <laughs> so... It's me and like five of my high school friends that fucking end up fucking working together there. One of one of the guys, I mean, you imagine we're fucking out in the parking lot all day, really. So we're all hot and fucking sweaty. And we're driving <laughs> back in, in, in tandems. Aww. And this fucking guy's going to moon this other guy. <laughs> and then he fucking accidentally, like, I, got, I don't know, we, we hit a bump or something, but he fucking... All you saw was greasy ass ass cheeks <laughs> on the fucking on the window, bro. Oh, I got swast. We were fucking. We were just uh, saying like all his duck butter was hanging out, and we were fucking calling him duck butter for the rest of the year. It was fucking funny. We used to do some stupid shit. Fucking. Work. <laughs> uh, oh shit! She must have smelled it. Like oh shoot. The teacher I, finds the weed they're, they're growing. I fucking smelled it. Let me inhale it. She's like, oh, what do I do? Oh, my <laughs> God. I can't believe him. Uh, my mom and aunt would have fucking took it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for Texas just to go ahead and legalize it. I, I'm sure it's coming. I, I have I actually have a friend of mine that says that... Um, He's working on getting his license to grow it at his farm. Oh. Um, he goes, but it you can only get it to 
so what you can grow it without the THC. He goes, but you know, as soon as they do legalize it, you'll be able to fucking put it in. Yeah, this guy, and, and again, this dude, man, he he was in fucking when whenever you wanted kind of like an asshole fucking teacher or I I I, I know on Three's company he's like a father in law. Like that's what I was thinking. Yeah, he's a fucking classic guy. On the spinoff, right? On the spinoff, yeah. On three's a crowd. crowd. Yeah, he's a crowd. I can't believe you fucking watched that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I can't believe it, and I knew it all at the fucking same time. I wanted that show to be good, but it wasn't. I used to watch reruns on like Sunday nights. I remember, because I mean, half the time fucking growing up, well. We could Jimmy the Cable and stuff like that in my room. I grew up with a little fucking black and white TV that that I could only get like the local channels on. And did I remember I'd fucking go through the fucking TV guide and I'd be like eight or nine years old planning out what I'm going to watch. Like if I'm watching TV at this fucking hour, what am I watching? Like, And, and so I always had fucking something. And dude, I'd fucking stay up late. <laughs> Fucking watching TV, man. I'd get in trouble all the time, but, um, yeah, I, I, I would be happy there, man. Just fucking watching my shows. This part gets me. This like, this lady's a teacher and the principal, whatever, but, uh, <laughs> they had to sneak through the window. You, you, you don't have the keys <laughs> in his own school. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck you doing? Worried that he touched his fucking liquor stash. <laughs> oh shit He's like oh you getting Oh low. yeah Oh no not me Yeah no I see you <laughs> Getting that <laughs> I like this Did you remember him in uh, the Twilight Zone movie Yeah yeah that? Yeah I'd like to do that movie man But he, he's from The Shining too right Um, I think so Yeah Oh dude the Twilight Zone The The The, the movie was so fucking good. They do, and they're gonna burn all the, uh, all the weed they're growing. Yeah, uh, and of course, like I, mm. I, I watched this movie, and then um, I was watching uh, fucking, um, you know, you watch Hocus Pocus every year. You, how many schools have a fucking incinerator? <laughs> <laughs> For real, uh, like what the <clears throat> fuck? This is like a morgue. Like what the fuck? See, like they got the body cannons behind them. It's like, like it's got uh, the fucking the the coach. He's Cochino, so he's like he thought they were in there fucking fucking too. He's like, ah, right, everyone's fucking getting some today. But really, they're gonna burn all of this weed that they've been growing. <laughs> and what you do know, they, what do they think is gonna happen? Oh, the coach. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucking funny. They forget, uh, the coach fucking inhales it, gets a big whiff. He's like, so I hit it real hard, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he fucking, he's all fucked up. He sees Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, earlier he was complaining, like, that his, uh, his wife don't, don't let him eat salami anymore. <laughs> so he, he didn't get some of that. He is tripping balls. <laughs> now he's riding bikes with, with Albert, Albert Einstein. Einstein. <laughs> yeah. uh, and they like, I, I don't, maybe I've never done drugs that were that, that hard. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten that fucked up where, where I've been uh, oh, tripping on something. That's home girl from uh, Sanford and the Sun. Yeah. And she's playing, that's his wife. In, 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 in real this, life? No, in this movie. Oh, so, uh, so like she he was complaining that she wasn't letting her eat he wasn't letting she wasn't letting him eat sausage anymore or something because she said it causes cancer so there she goes she's shooting sausages at him <laughs> and I like these like an 80 <laughs> yeah, he's just a salami. flying salami <laughs> I, seeing all these 80s movies have to have it because the plot is not good enough for a full length movie they gotta throw in this filler stuff it's awesome. <laughs> and you know what? Like, nowadays, they'd fucking... They'd make it look all badass, right? With the fucking CGI and stuff <laughs> CGI like that. CGI salami. Right? But, like, man, I, I, I love the fucking... The cheesiness of it and the, the, the 
old fucking effects that they had. Green, blue screened it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Magic Land. <laughs> and I guess so. This is a, a senior thing or something. He said, "Welcome seniors to Magic Land." I guess they have past seniors there too, because those guys in the back fucking graduated like three years ago, bro. <laughs> Uh, was their parents behind them? <laughs> so you, you you go to fucking parks and shit like this, or yeah, you you like you roller coaster guy? Or? I used to be. <laughs> oh, we talked about this with the witch color. Yeah, right? yeah. I used to be. Fuck that. I I, I could deal with it, but yeah, no, I I don't like fucking. I don't like big drops. I don't like fucking spinning. That's what I like, the little log ride where you, Oh, do you remember this? I, I remember to, from fucking I used fucking, to love uh, this carnival game. They don't do it anymore. Um, I, I used to like it with uh, Joe Dirt where he, uh, he's like yeah. spraying all the <laughs> stuff for Pam. <laughs> fucking Pam's it up. <laughs> but I used to love this carnival game. They don't do it anymore. They used to have like a bunch of cups and dishes and plates and and like you throw dimes and if you land on something or make it in something, you win that. That cup or something. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they don't do that shit no more now. And, it, but they still do the fish. But oh. fuck, it's like, dude, I, don't, I ain't trying to take home no fish, man. Don't win no fish. I hate winning goldfish. Fuck that. And you're like, oh, now we got to go buy a bowl. We got to go buy a uh, food. <laughs> and it's going to die in two <laughs> days. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I love it, man. I like going like like to the rodeo and shit, but well, mainly for the food. Go well, yeah. even even Fiesta now. It's my fat ass. It's for the food. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go this year? It was all I didn't weird do. I year. didn't do nothing this this year. Um, Still too awkward. Honestly, yeah. Like like even there there's um. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking one. It's like in July. Fuck that. Like, it, I barely could stand it in April. Um, but, two, it's just like, it was still kind of fucking, you know, right after everything. And, yeah, and now, we like, masks, do we not wear yeah, masks? things are starting to fucking go back to where, uh, you know, we're on the verge of fucking shutting down again. It's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I don't know. You think we're going to shut down again? Um, uh, I don't know, man. I've heard people at work fucking talking about it. We're so far behind, though. Oh, yeah. We don't need to talk about work, though. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> uh, fuck that.com. See, fuck rides like this, bro. Especially after drinking. They were, oh, fuck, they're, yeah. They're, they're drinking in the parking lot. And then they go on the, you know these teacup type of rides. Fuck. He's like, dude, spin him, spin him. I don't even like watching shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> fucking... <laughs> I remember my youngest, I think, yeah, here at PS Texas, they're like uh, pool balls, right? Yeah. My little, my youngest, when he was little, 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 he was so eager to get on rides. And uh, I remember he, he was just tall enough to get on, on those rides. And, uh, uh-huh. And my other kids were in there spinning that thing, and he was bouncing around. We're like, "Oh my oh, god, fuck. what are y'all doing, to my little boy?" <laughs> <laughs> they forget. Um, I remember back in okay, like like back in the maybe early nineties. Um, it used to be on the south side. They used to have this little fucking this south side fucking carnival kind of uh, kitty park type deal, and they had some fucking apples, right? That and like, it'd be like three or four of them worked. There was one that was fucked up that you didn't get on because everything else would be spinning, and that one would just stay. <laughs> but they would still let mm. motherfuckers get on it. And is Kitty Park still around, or did they they like closed it? Is I think it? I think the Kitty Park still is downtown, or not downtown by the zoo, right? Yeah, yeah, still yeah. Still there? I I think so. Last time I went, it was. But I had heard that it was either moving or something like that, or it was going to move into Brackenbridge Park. Yeah, they, they need to keep that going because that's that's a San Antonio landmark. Yeah, like um, in the eighties, I lived around there. Like my dad's family is kind of from that area. Uh, 
uh, and so we kind of grew up around there. And dude, like, I'd be like seven years old. Okay, lived in the neighborhood across from Kitty Park, mm. and we'd fucking cross the street, cross Broadway, <laughs> go to Kitty Park, go to Breckenridge Park, fucking ride our bikes in the trails and all that shit. At like seven, eight years old, man, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And my, and my mom, my mom and dad would actually tell us like, "Oh, you know, stay away from the park after dark. That's where all the prostitutes hang out <laughs> and shit like that, man." It was fucking crazy. We got some more college guys want to talk to the girls. I I don't know. Those are I think those are dads <laughs> that were chaperoning. Had matching shirts on. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. This girl likes likes the attention this Peyton gives him. I keep wanting to say buddy. Yeah. yeah. Like, she don't care. Like, her, her dude, they made him throw up, and he took off, and she's like, oh, well, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm just going to hang guys. out. Yeah. <laughs> and the other chick, too. Like, she knows he's fucking got these powers that he's doing, that he's using. Oh, shit. Buddy. See? That's what I mean. Women are whores. <laughs> <laughs> she got her college boyfriend, but yet she comes to this dude's apartment. And again, like... Our room, whatever. Yeah, because I, I, I imagine, I mean, he's supposed to be in high school. He still lives with his parents. I know. But he has his own bar and shit like that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, typical dude's room. Pictures of chicks on the wall. <laughs> Stash of condoms. She's like, really, this guy? And he has pictures of the cheerleaders. Is like those. Oh, but he's he's a photographer. I forgot, right? <laughs> he's like, oh, let me set up this camera. Oh yeah, he's about to set up the camera on the casting couch. <laughs> uh, guys nowadays probably do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> set up that spy cam. But it's like, uh, I would be creeped out, right? If I was a cheerleader on the team and I came to his house and he had pictures. I mean, I'm not saying that's her in those pictures, but. It could be. Presumably, right? Like, yeah. what the fuck? And you remember, like, like he's smooth and shit here. But on um, Charles in Charge's buddy, he was a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, couldn't he? They couldn't do this stuff on Charles in Charge. I, I don't know. I. I I would have to rewatch, but I faintly remember him as, as the girls got older, fucking hidden on the girls. Cause and one, Charles telling them shit. That one girl ended up on Baywatch, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After this and Charles in Charge, I don't know what this guy's done. Nothing, right? Well, I remember him doing like a bunch of Christian movies. Oh, really? Probably after this, he was shamed. <laughs> Where I, I want to say he was called like Bible Man or something, and what? so he was like a fucking Christian superhero. I, I'm I'm fairly certain, but I don't know like how much he did. And Scott Bale too. He hasn't done much. Well, Scott Bale was the new boy in the neighborhood. He, he lived downstairs, and it was understood. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at him, such a player. He's like, no, I can't. I can't kiss you. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing his fucking hot ass sweater, knowing he's fucking sweating balls underneath Playing that shirt. To get. He's like, okay, let me, get, <laughs> let me uh, get the camera set up. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's like, yeah, take some pictures. Okay, so he was a, he was called, it was called Bible Man. And he's fucking um, but yeah, dude, he wasn't doing nothing. He was it was a, it was a TV show, Bible man. That's funny, <laughs> but he, he hadn't done too much else. So Scott Bale, I remember he did a couple of, like reality shows, and um, you know maybe like turned up and shit like that. I'm trying to think if he came out in Entourage once or twice. I don't know. I want to say he did, but. A lot of people came out in Entourage. Did you like Entourage? I did. Yeah. I I I, I listen to their podcast now. It's pretty good. 
I like the what's his name? Um, I can't think of his name. The agent. <clears throat> oh fucking Ari! Yeah. Yeah. You ever see uh, PCU? Fuck yeah. yeah. With uh, fucking uh, <laughs> David Spade. Yeah, and and it, John Favreau. He's got a yeah, fucking young John Favreau. Fat John Favreau. <laughs> Well, he's fat again. Or he gets all fucked up. Or he gets <laughs> yeah. he gets stoned, and that fucking he's they talking to that the... lady, and she's like, um, "Excuse me, can you blow me where the peppers is?" And he's like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one dude in that movie that was uh, like his whole thing is he had to watch movies with Gene Hackman. Oh yeah. <laughs> That was his fucking uh, his thesis, right? Yeah, yeah. That 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 movie again. That'll be one of those movies. Like, okay, when 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 I go into, we're gonna talk about these movies, and I want to do some research or whatever. I try to look for a podcast, right? Like my podcast app has it to where like you could kind of look up, you know, uh, uh, different podcasts based on whatever. Yeah. Like for this movie, I saw like maybe three. Um, for this one? Yeah, like, and this were actual episodes of other podcasts that talk about it. Renaissance Man, none. We're <laughs> <laughs> the first on that one, but Yeah. Uh, Renaissance Man was none. Uh, but, you know. I'm telling you, if we do moving violations, there ain't, there ain't none. <laughs> there ain't not going to be none either. <laughs> we're, we're, are we going to go with our next one from the box? Well, um... Maybe not jumping ahead here, but uh, I was thinking the box or Suicide Squad's coming out. Is it this weekend though? Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 watching that like first day. So I kind of want to get a uh, see. Well, I don't know if they're gonna do it. Maybe uh have a guest. Maybe uh Chuck and um Adam. I think they'd be down for that. Yeah, we had fucking just gotta text him and ask him. I actually asked Charles what he was fucking doing today, and I and I told him like we're gonna we're gonna record, and he was like, "Oh, cool." But he didn't get the hint that I was like, "Motherfucker, you want to go record with us?" That would have been funny because like, he's Adam never involved, seen it. Though. Yeah. Well, wouldn't have helped because you know, there's no captions for some reason. <laughs> I should have bought the Blu-ray. Oh man, maybe that's what it was. Look at him. He's like, "Yeah, we're in fucking the science lab, girl." <laughs> Yeah, now he's feeling the girl because she had she don't have no glasses on. <laughs> and she's like, "You got these special powers. You better fucking be good, <laughs> or fucking make it good with your special powers." And does he have to put the mattress on top of the lab table? Oh, that's where all the magic happens, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him in his fucking cut off jean shorts. <laughs> That's fucking eighties, bro. Again, these are supposed to be high schoolers, and they're yeah. showing this. You know what I mean? At school, bro. Yeah, at school. At school. Look, he's got his shirt off, right? And they're about to get down, and she don't want her to. She don't want him to take his shirt up. And he's gonna force her with his fucking power. That's rape, bro. That's rape. Yep. <laughs> I'm telling you, Charles is being charged in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and they 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 they're taking their time with this, right? Like they're fucking stretching it out. It's like, come the fuck on! I know. And like, are people supposed to be getting out to these high schoolers? <laughs> Even though they're in their twenties, you know. Oh, easily. Huh? Smoking yeah. a cigarette. Yeah, that's the classic. We had fucking, we had sex. <laughs> yeah, have a fucking cigarette <laughs> afterwards. That's right, exactly right? how it happens. <laughs> that's another '80s thing, right? Yeah, it's like if, even if they don't show anything, they'll show them smoking. Like, oh yeah, we just did it. It's like, oh, Charles is in charge now. And that's the only time people smoke. <laughs> okay, and then when you're an '80s douchebag, you wear a fucking sweater on your shoulders like that, <laughs> <laughs> tied tied yeah. up sweater. Yeah, it's like oh. your typical preppy. Like, yeah, you you hate this guy. How do you know? Because well, he has a fucking sweater around his neck. It's like the Adams and uh, <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah. They were jocks, but yet they still wore the sweater. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be their letterman, right? 
Yeah. Look at that. He's like, bitch. No, we're fucking. She's like, Psh, don't say nothing. It's like, you're my side piece. <laughs> He's like, I'm down with that. It's like, buddy's cool with that. <laughs> <coughs> so, I mean, we're not there yet, but that girl, I was reading that uh, there was some controversy. With her? Yeah. That uh, she didn't want to do, or I think she didn't want to do the, to show her boobs, right? Mm-hmm. So what they did, they got a body double. No came, shit. When it came to the point where they show her boobs. And, uh, <laughs> and supposedly she got upset because she didn't agree to have a body double and this and that. And people thought it was her. I was <laughs> like, that's crazy. It, like there's now nowadays it's like the chicks are like yeah well, I fucking I picked my body double because I think you said I think this was like one of her first movies oh okay like okay her, like one of my first movie to show my boobs yeah that, that's second or third movie type <laughs> <of deal. laughs> uh, you want to make it in the business or not girl yeah it's the way it is in the eighties that show <laughs> well, I guess yeah she didn't fucking. She didn't do too much after that. <laughs> you get cut off fucking jean <laughs> shorts with the long two tube socks up. <laughs> you know you had some two socks. I'm telling you. With the colored stripes. Fuck yeah. And my mom was the type like she bought like the tube socks with the colored stripes that matched my baseball team. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then she fucking put uh she bought red shoelaces for my cleats. Nice. Bro, no, I didn't look nice at all. <laughs> I look like a fucking geek out there. And are you matching? That yeah. My mom, too. Was no, like but my like, mom, it, I mean, it was just like the fact that she went that extra effort, you know, but still. I think that was just a thing. Maybe like our mom's generation, she always had me matching, too. And like, then They don't match. Like, so? <laughs> I, I, I had a brother that was a year younger than me. So... We, she'd buy us like the same shit, like yeah. And, and again, now if you see my brother, my brother's dark. He don't look nothing like me. <laughs> um, but she dresses like we're fucking twins and shit. See the the Jedi powers, you can do whatever you want. I don't know. You you, you can kind of see how like uh, if he wanted to, he'd be a real asshole. <laughs> yeah, fuck, he could fuck some shit up. That'd be the hardest thing if you had powers not to do evil. <laughs> <laughs> it's too tempting. I mean, you even, you said it earlier. It's like, I would figure out a way how to get money. Well, I mean, I would do it, but not in an evil way. Uh, I'm not going to kill anybody. No, I'm not saying, but. I'm just saying, like, I'd be by a bank or something. And as I see the fucking dudes glowing the money, I'd be like. <laughs> I like this. They they go on like a blind date or something, right? The principal uh, and this teacher, but they don't know. <laughs> they don't know it's each other. Yep. Like, oh, you're wearing this flower. And so, oh my god, it's you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and she's happy, and he's like, bitch. <laughs> What's this fucking necklace he has with the dove or something <laughs> on it? Is that a seagull? Uh, what the fuck? Homeboy's looking like uh, the jerk right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, With yeah. With the yeah. taco meat hanging out and the gold chains. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> That's another movie I love. The, the jerk? Yes. Like, get away from the pink can. <laughs> he hates these pink cans. Naven <laughs> uh, <Maven> Johnson. <laughs> I like where he fucking, he's trying to fucking... Uh, Hold, hold up the guys that are using the fucking stolen credit card. And he's oh. like, fucking, don't worry, I got him. <laughs> he's like, yeah, any lowrider pulling a small house or a small <laughs> church. Small church. <laughs> that'd be that. That'd be them. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, that, that movie's too good. Oh, shit. To like, don't fight it. You know you want it. <laughs> and, okay, that, that was the thing too, right? Okay, like uh, I remember this movie. Okay, this movie, and then um, fucking Porky's. 
had a had a teacher that was a real bitch, but all, all she really needed was some fucking. <laughs> she needs some dick. So <laughs> they fucking they make it to or oh shit, <laughs> they, they make it to where that she she gets laid and she becomes all fucking laid back and she's on the yeah. other side down. Look at this, the fucking. I'm telling you, it's another thing. Like oh, I'm gonna go underneath the table. <laughs> He's like, oh my god. That's another thing. Was it like Police Academy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I <laughs> play the same joke. Everything all right? Oh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a long tablecloth to not see what's going on there. <laughs> it's like fucking. I'd be like, get the fuck out of my fucking restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> For real. The fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, it's not a long tablecloth. <laughs> Everybody's like, uh, uh, fuck it. and look at that guy, dude. That, that guy was sitting there with two fucking women. He must be a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking eighties, man. Gotta love it. Yep, here we are at the frat house. There's always there's always gambling. There's always a craps table or roulette. And so they had that that one guy there, right? That um, you saw the guy in the middle. Uh, I remember him being on Grease. Um, that that fucking throws the pie in the fucking guy's face. Him, that dude. dude. <laughs> uh, that dude was fucking everywhere. I have that dude's autograph somewhere. Oh, uh, you fucking saw him at a con or something? Uh, no, it's when I was like kind of into autographs. Yeah, a lot of these. Um, there's a lot of people. Like, if you just uh, write them or send a request, like they'll send like a promo. Uh, photo and autograph it. No shit. What did he send it from? Do you um, remember? I don't know. I gotta find it. <laughs> fuck. I remember when uh, he was in. Um, oh fuck. What was he in? He was in. Um, oh, um, Critters. He was he's in Critters, in Critters? Two. In Critters Part Two, where he's like, "Kill Christ, Christ, or whatever." Oh. The fuck. Uh, of course, they're like. And use your powers to uh, win this roulette game. And then they... uh it's like they're cheating. Yeah, they're fucking cheating. And it's, it's like, how are they fucking cheating? It's like, 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 okay, I love the Oceans movies. I love them. But that whole fucking scene in part three where they're cheating um, with the fucking dice is like, how, bro? Like, come, come on, how? Yeah. A load of dice. Like, you can never fucking, like, they were making it flip. And unless you, you're making it flip on one number all the time. Like, come on, how? I'd rather go, like, Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I, I love fucking Oceans. Oh, yeah. The first one. I like all three of them, man. I, I can sit there and fucking watch. My wife can't stand them. Like, she won't fucking sit there and watch them with me. Dude. Heist movies, right? We were talking about heist mm-hmm. movies. The zombie heist, remember? We did uh, Army of the Dead. Did yeah. you see they're doing a prequel with the, with the Dieter guy, with the crack safer guy? No way. Yes. Yes. That fucking sounds sweet. I was like, I'm down for that because it's going to be another heist movie. Look at that. That yeah, chick looks like Cher, Cher behind him. Is that Cher? <laughs> yeah, she's in college. <laughs> Uh, I was like, like, you look at fucking extras in the movies and shit like that. There's always one or two that look at the camera. I was just going to say that. <laughs> that dude just looked right at the camera. Uh, that's brilliant editing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. This movie's too fucking white for me. <laughs> no bros, no none. The only one is, uh, what's his name? Scatman. <laughs> the coach. Yeah, the drinks, it, it, the coasted uh, drinks, like fucking no Mexicans at all. <laughs> this is supposed to be, I, uh, uh, it was made in California, so you gotta imagine we're fucking there, you know. <laughs> yeah, half of Lux family's over there. Come on, yeah. look at Chachi, not giving a fuck about Joni. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't do nothing after that. Nope. He's like, Fonzie's my cousin. I can do whatever I want. Fonzie was zapped too, right? Like That motherfucker was always doing magic shit. <laughs> Hitting the jukebox. 
Hey. Oh, shit. Found the coach's stash. Even though there's fucking liquor all around there. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> there's that little tiny bottle. Yet he's all messed up. I don't know. Would that fuck you up? And it's almost like in, in, in all these fucking movies, a whole fucking school year goes all, goes through. For real. Right? Like, it's fucking moves so quick. Isn't prom near the end of the year? Yeah. But there's always a prom scene. Always. Every high school movie. Right, right? There's like some fucking end of the school year dance. There's a prom, a dance, they all, something. They all copied fucking Grease. Because <laughs> Grease is the word. I know you used to sing along to that. Fuck yes. <laughs> uh, I, I was born to hand drive. I was like, yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, I fucking, uh, okay, we, we had went out. Um, I told you Chuck, Chuck had came along. And then um, I told him, you know, if it's fucking bunk at, 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 uh, at the bottom, uh, this other place that we that we've gone to, uh, I can't think of the fucking name. Industry. Uh, the El Luchador. <laughs> the Luchador had a fucking karaoke night. Uh, so I was like, if it's fucking bunk over here, we'll go over there. We'll go do karaoke. You get down to karaoke. Fuck yeah! I, I, I so I told Chuck. I said um, we could do summer loving. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they ended up taking off and, and going. Um, but yeah, now my wife was having too good a time at fucking bottom, so we're like, nah, we're cool here. Do you buy that whole uh, grease thing uh, theory about uh, what's that? You know, at the beginning they're talking about how he, he uh, saved her from drowning. Oh, that it's all a fucking um... yeah. Because at the end, when they like drive off in the car <laughs> into the, into the sky, it's like that's her going to heaven. Oh no, shit, that's her dying. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah. That's pretty dark. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's one of my favorites. I don't like to think of it that way. Oh, shoot. The mom's got the, all these exorcist, these priests here to do an exorcism. <laughs> what, they give them fucking Nuprin? Volume or <laughs> pills. The priest, the priest gives them pills. <sighs> so now he's all, oh, shoot. Oh, what the fuck? He threw it up. Just like the exorcist, right? <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? Yeah, he's like, ah, it's the power of Christ that compels you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking. It's like, get out. The power of Christ compels. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, Got to bring Annabelle's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Adam <Fuck> Bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking Chucky's dad. <laughs> uh, fucking uh, I tell you man Creepy dolls Fuck with me For real I can't stand Like even like um, I think at SeaWorld They had a fucking uh, one. Of, you know They have a bunch of Haunted houses In the one place Yeah And then uh, They had this one That was just fucking Full of creepy dolls I was just like Oh god I can't stand that shit Like the little Porcelain dolls Yeah <laughs> Oh they're all Freaking out <laughs> Yo, a fucking uh, movie I liked in the 80s that, that, that came out um, Maybe early 90s uh, Repossessed With uh, Linda Blair Yeah You, you remember the, that one? Uh, I think Leslie Nielsen Yeah, did. Leslie Nielsen <laughs> Don't wanna be re, 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 Repossessed Here we are The prom You're, Like uh, When you were younger Like To scare you Would, would your mom tell you shit like my mom used to always fucking tell me, he's like, oh, it's fucking, you stay up late, the devil's going to stay up with you. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was always the kukui or uh, <laughs> the donkey lady. Yeah. My mom used to say the fat lady. The fat lady's going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, I remember she used to tell it to my little cousin, and be like, no, no, no. <laughs> the fat lady's going to get you. Oh, no, no. Oh, uh, mom. Uh, my my dad's mom, she uh, spoke nothing but Spanish, and she always used to, she used to have all these fucking birds in her house and and shit. And my mom later on she would tell us that she was good on data. 
Like, <laughs> she's do shit. But like when I was little, like I didn't know Curanera, so she'd be like, "Yeah, she's a witch. Like she's a witch. <laughs> she fucking uh, talks. She talks to the spirits." I'm like, "No way." So I was always fucking. I would always freak out with my grandma. This guy, man, he's like, that boy has the shining. It's the shining in him. <laughs> and I, I want to say there's been um, there's been other movies that, that has kind of done this premise. Or not, not like this premise, but like there's been other shows. Like I, I, I want to say there's a Simpsons episode where they kind of pay, pay homage to it. You know, like they do with fucking everything. Um, where, where I think maybe Bart or someone has the, the, the same kind of powers. Yeah. Cause it's an awesome story. Right. It's like who, who, like you said, like who wouldn't want the powers, you know, they do the prom king and queen. Of course it's Miss Pink lady. Well, and they got a, like, I mean, cause and like I said, buddy is a king. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of a male version of Carrie they gotta have the prom scene that's another thing could she bring that college dude into the prom I don't know if they can do that nowadays eh, everyone over there is, everyone there is over like 30 anyway <laughs> <laughs> look at this bitch now she got her tits out and everything <laughs> uh, king and queen dance and that was the, that was the thing I always liked too in the Zadies movies when they had a prom or a dance they had a band and shit. Like, we just had a fucking DJ. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we never got to have any of that shit, but I would we love to have a fucking... We didn't get to have Michael J. Fox audition. So. <laughs> You're just too darn loud. And you know, that was Huey Lewis in the news? Yeah. Yeah. I fucking love Huey Lewis in the news. I fucking love 80s music, too. I think I, if I could be stuck in that late 80s, early 90s time, I'd be good. Yeah. Still innocent, but yet not. Yeah, yeah. When you'd watch, like, this movie late at night on fucking Showtime or something, or Cinemax, or Skinemax. Yeah, and believe it or not, pre-internet was, was not a bad time. <laughs> yeah, right, because, like, even, even early internet, like, when YouTube was first out, like, YouTube used to have, like, you used to be able to watch movies on YouTube. Before, like, everything started streaming and shit like that. Like, I remember being able to look up movies and watch movies on YouTube. Yeah, that was until everybody was like, oh, you are you have my content on there? Oh, I need some money for that. Yeah, yeah. And, like, everybody's boning. The, the teacher and that principal, like, snuck off, like, let's go bone. <laughs> yep, and then it's him and his chick. And, of course, his chick didn't go with nobody. That's the way it happens. And now he's easier. Oh, she's beautiful with no glasses. Yeah. You know, um, there's a movie, and, and I'm going to want to do it one day because, again, it's a movie that no one else would want to fucking do, probably. Um, <laughs> but it's called uh, Trippin'. And um, it was made, like, 99, 98, somewhere around there. So it's kind of around the time I was graduating. And... Again, there wasn't, it, it may be PG-13, but there wasn't, like, sex or, or I mean, there were sex scenes, but there wasn't, like, nudity or anything like that. Um, mostly just language, but it, it was made in, in kind of the same vein as a lot of these uh, 80s uh, teenage movies were made. Trip, but I don't know if I remember that one. It was, um, I mean, it was, it was a black comedy. Um, yeah. But it was with the the kid that was Bud in the Cosby Show. Bud. Okay. okay. Um, it was him and Donald Faison, um, Joe Joe Torrey, who was a comedian uh, back then, and it, it was fucking it was funny as shit, man. Like it was a good movie. I don't know why I don't get more run. Like even like I never even hear like. Um, Donald Faison, he has a podcast with Zach Braff. They never talk about it. Um, they always talk about like Remember the Titans or Clueless, yeah. shit like that. But they never talk about this movie. And this movie was fucking funny, man. Like you would like it. I'm, I'm telling you, you checked it out, you would like it. Um, it was basically this fucking guy. He daydreams all the fucking time, 
And um, that's why it's called tripping, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, he's always fucking daydreaming, and he needs to kind of focus and 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 live live life for real. But like his fucking daydreams are funny, man. Like just like it's shit like this. It's like the the most prettiest, popular popular girl in school. Like he wants to hook up with, and and how does he go about that and shit? And of course, she's dating like an older fucking guy. We're dropping in the box. I I'm gonna have to, man. His fucking dad's the, the, <laughs> his dad's the fucking um, uh, Al, Al Bundy's friend, um, in the shoe store, um, Griff, the black guy. Yeah, all right. That's the dad. <laughs> and so, like, uh, on one of his daydreams, like you know, colleges are coming to talk to him, and he's like, "Oh, well, where did y'all school fa- uh, place in the Final Four last year?" He goes, "Well." We have a bomb ass lacrosse team, and the dad's like lacrosse. <laughs> you better get the fuck out of here before I kick your ass lacrosse to the street. <laughs> uh, it's fucking funny, man. You, we'll, we'll check it out, man. We'll check it out. And so, of course, there's got to be some kind of conflict at the prom, right? For the big, oh yeah, for the big carry moment. <laughs> um, college boyfriend is there with his other college friends. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> He's busting out the pictures he took with uh, the girl. It looked like he made a fucking calendar of it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, fight breaks out. Fight! Oh fight, yeah, fight! Fight! Got all these men <laughs> kicking his ass. <laughs> oh. oh, see, there it is. Yep. I, I don't know if you saw the girl's hair was brown. <laughs> oh no, shit! And then too, like. She's probably pissed because those were some small tits. Like, she's like, I'm better yeah. than that. <laughs> this is where he just goes butt wild. Just yeah. Like, you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna he's, tear he's everybody. Like, I'm that gonna, was a stunt. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna carry all over these motherfuckers. Yeah, let's just tear everybody's clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry. We're buds. Cause he was pissed off at him, right? Like he was, he was mad about some shit. Oh no! He got hit by a watermelon. He don't have the shin in no more. Oh. Oh, he still got it. Oh, let me take your pants off. See, this is where he goes wild. <laughs> and look, and the girlfriend's fucking loving it. Look, at, <laughs> and, and Buddy's about to go fucking rape her. He's like, oh, oh, no, nah, that's cool. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> And it, okay, okay, then uh, in this scene here. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> everyone, the, as their clothes starts coming off, like people can't control themselves and just like, oh, once I see naked people, I got to start fucking <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, you know, like, oh. oh my God, I got naked. And this is maybe maybe this is why they had older people because they can't have all these kids getting naked at the end. So uh, now I understand. Uh, you know what? I didn't think of that. <laughs> uh, and the other thing is like, it was like, oh well, fucking. Of course, men once they see a naked girl, they can't control themselves, right? They gotta go try. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Everybody just running around naked. <laughs> and they're just laughing like, ha ha. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> and they're like fucking. Uh, <laughs> the, he told him, he caught him. He fucking told them. He saw them that one time in the fucking classroom. He knew it. Damn, some of those are all naked. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think this, this guy's all happy. He's just trying to grab every uh, fucking all the pussy out there. I think it's, <laughs> <laughs> the coach was—he's a fucking coach there. He was gonna tackle that girl. Uh, oh, I like how this does it, right? Yeah. It's like, uh, what was he gonna do with the fire hose? I got hit in the head. I lost my powers. Yeah. It's like that school would have gotten in trouble. <laughs> you know how many caring moms there would be nowadays? It's just like 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 uh 
Remember we had a Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie? Yeah. And at the end, where there's a bunch of fucking vampires killing kids. <laughs> what happened? It's like, I don't have it anymore. Uh, that's what you can tell when he does his eyes like that, right? And this fucking, they're like, he's like, check this out. Like, I can make my eye twitch. They're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make a movie out of that. <laughs> I like how it's always like a hit in the head or electric shock or something that that does it. It took all the metachlorians out of them, bro. <laughs> you don't have the shin in no more. Like, you know what? I still love you. I remember that Simpsons where he's like, you mean the shining? He's like, no, we can't afford to say that. <laughs> it's the shin in. <laughs> 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 The, on our podcast, we can't afford to say the shining. So say <laughs> the, the shining. shining. Oh, like, he still has his power. He's like, fooled you. Yep. I just don't want you to know. Yep. He's like, I don't want you to know. Next time some chick's fucking tits pop out, it was my fault. It wasn't me. Wasn't me. I don't have the power <laughs> no more. It's like, you're still going to have to make me fucking breakfast in the morning. And this part, I don't get what. <laughs> Now he's now he could fly. I know. <laughs> Maybe this is like Greece where he died in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> That's him going to heaven, bro. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Classic. Oh, classic eighties. And if it was made now, we'd be like, look at this shit. <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> yep, but that's all we wanted to see, right? When we we're fucking in the eighties. Like, yeah, you gotta have some movie. The story here. didn't matter. Yeah, the story didn't matter. Fuck that. But I like this story. No, we can. All right, again, it's because, like I because said, because it's a fantasy. It's something that we would. Oh, look, there it is. Look, they had to put this in there because of what uh, she complained. This is a double was used <laughs> in Miss Thomas in her nude scene. <laughs> in the photograph, in the photograph, or I think right both. after that, right? I think both. They yeah. had to, they had to put that in there again. She she I I I want to say if they were fucking nice, perfect breasts, she'd probably wouldn't complain. Like, yeah, that was me. <laughs> you can imagine she probably does the con scene now, right? I would think so because she ain't got nothing else going on, right? That's what I love about about the cons. Speaking about cons, man, <sighs> we got fucking canceled, didn't we? Fucking Delta virus. Were you going to go? <laughs> no, because it was... <laughs> I mean, I really wanted to, but, you know, it ain't in the cards right now to spend that much money to go see Obi-Wan. Motherfucker, I see you buying shit all the time. <laughs> I sell stuff, too, but... Yeah, that's true, too. I don't know, because um, if you guys don't know, we're, we're opening a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. think it doesn't make us that much. Um. Yeah, I'm, we playing, gotta, I'm playing around with the Patreon. I need to come up with some good uh, content for, for yeah. prizes. Uh, well, two is like uh, we got to cover our movie budget. You know, you're out there buying movies. I know so buying movies. You know, <laughs> some new equipment would be nice. Dude, my 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 shirts haven't come in yet. They're coming. I saw this shipped. Yeah. Um, but. If you want to contribute to our Patreon, I'll put up a link soon enough. But what I'm thinking, um, we have a regular now watch this sticker, but I'm thinking maybe some exclusive stickers, probably something uh, from one, some of our shows. Um, I put it out. I was going to save it, but I, I, I put it out on threeleggedrabbit.com. Uh, I put out a shirt that says crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, the opening of our show and one of the shows that we did. But that's what I'm thinking. Maybe some shirts uh, based on some of our episodes. So <laughs> we, we we may have to get a, and we're back. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> dude. <sighs> I need that. Maybe put that on the back. Yeah, on the back or of our how, shirt. How many tacos? <laughs> yes. What's your taco rating? So. Yeah, so I'll be putting out a link soon. <laughs> um, I just want some good stuff for you guys to, if anybody wants to help us out with the Patreon. You want to, let's get into our uh, closing of this movie. 
of Zapped. And and I got to say thank you to Rich El Sinestro. Again, classic 80s, great, yes. great pick. Watching it again, it's like it brings back a lot of memories. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a lot of good memories. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not going to say of what, but yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we all grew up, you know. Watching shit, watching these. All right, let's see. Best part of this movie, favorite part of this movie. Um, thinking on the fly, cause just <laughs> yeah, I would say for me, it's it's again the cheesiness of it all. You know what I mean, like. It didn't take itself too seriously. It didn't fucking try to get some point across. It was just fucking a it was fun just movie. Comedy. Yeah. Your typical 80s comedy with some tits in it. And again, this is <laughs> it, it was early 80s, so this helped kind of define what the 80s were. You know what I mean? 1982. I, I guess you could say this is the one that maybe the... First ones? Was it, when did Porky's come out? I don't know when. Um, Porky's was a little bit after this, but uh, I gotta see. But again, like this is one of those movies that helped kind of define a genre. I think Por- Porky's was more hardcore. Cause like this was this seemed like an innocent high school movie. Well, you know yeah, I mean? Porky's was eighty two as well. Oh, okay. So again, it's right there. It's right there at the beginning. Uh, Screwballs was eighty three, so it's after this. Um, you know, movies like Private School, Private Lessons, you know, were right around this time. Uh, Private Resort was 85. So, again, like, this is one of the first. One of the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, honestly, you know, again, um, for all the holes and, and, you know, maybe we made fun of this and that. It, it was, it, it was good. It was, it was good fucking cheesiness. Yes, sir. Let's see. For me, the best part is the boobies, because you know, <laughs> yeah, that that's what I liked as a kid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> watching this movie, and what right did we have watching our rated movies back in the day? Again, but like half of these movies would would come out on on cable, and it wasn't like nowadays where. You'd get this, like, honestly, you'd see in the beginning of the movie, it showed nudity. It's like, hey, I, I want to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> that was obviously the draw, but you could watch it without the boobies. Like, and, and, and I don't know if kids watch TV like that nowadays. Everything's streamed now. Like, now, back in the day, it's like you would catch this movie on, on a late Friday night or Saturday night. You know what I mean? Like, um, you don't, they don't. Now it's like, oh, they, they want to watch this movie, so they'll watch it. Now their uh, attention span isn't isn't there. Yeah, and they used to TikTok watching, you know, thirty minute clips. But what what I'm saying is like back in the day, we'd be flipping through the channels, right? Flipping through the channels, yeah, see what's like, on. Ooh, yes, Scott Bale. You, you <laughs> yeah, the TV guides on something like that, um, and we'd come across it and we'd watch it. Nowadays, it's if they want to watch a movie, they go and watch it, like. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They, it's not, they don't happen across movies anymore like that. They're not flipping through fucking the channels anymore. It just doesn't happen. Like, I don't have cable anymore. Like, I, I stream everything. I have a bunch of fucking apps, anything that I want. Um, but, you know, the um, flipping through the channels days, like, nowadays there's apps that are doing that now. Like, Hulu has channels. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say like Paramount Plus has channels, uh, Peacock has channels, but it's not the way it was back in the day. Yeah, that's one thing that will be missed. I mean, I still have that sort of. Uh, if YouTube TV wants to sponsor the show, they can, but <laughs> I have YouTube TV. Okay, um, okay. It's not YouTube. It's YouTube. It's, it's like cable. Yeah. You got your locals. You got, you know, all your regular channels, TBS, MTV, all that stuff. And you can, they have what's on live. You can yeah. scroll down like like a like regular cable. How much is that? Uh, I think it's like fifty bucks a month, or I think so. Yeah, I don't know, I've funny. had it. I've had it for a while, so I don't know if it's gone up or not. 
They just pull money from. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, you know, from your money bank that you have in the back sure. that you swim in. Like Scrooge McDuck. Um, but I like it because, um, I don't know, I like it. We we use it because I think uh, we, we just, like I said, miss that flipping through channels thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. You can still do stuff on demand and all that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And it's unlimited DVR. Yeah, because cause with football coming back up, it's like, I, I told my wife, I was like, I, I got to get some kind of cable because I got to have the NFL ticket. Like, I can't watch regular fucking football anymore. Like, I got to watch five games on at one time. Yeah. Uh, What's next here? Let's see. Surely you can't be serious. Surely you can't be serious. What's... What didn't you like about this? And it's not that I didn't like it, but like the whole fucking Star Trek scene. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, like they had they had to have filler. Like I said, it's there's not much of a story there. <laughs> but this guy still, has powers, and you could have did something else, man. It, I, the whole fucking so, like that seemed like a stoner movie, and this wasn't necessarily a stoner movie. I know they're growing pot. But it wasn't a stoner movie. <laughs> you didn't like the Albert Einstein part either. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was second on my list for worst parts, but the the Star Trek was the first. Oh, worst part. I think just the forty year old actors that are um <laughs> playing high schoolers. Yeah. The worst the worst is Greece though, but Yeah. But yeah, the dudes in mustache. And that was the thing. Grease didn't show no titties, right? So they had no, no excuse, you know? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, why do you have this guy? He's practically balding already. <laughs> it's fucking five o'clock yeah. shadow. Is fucking, he has to shave every hairline, five minutes. Yeah. Hairline way back. <laughs> Don't tell me you're in high school. Uh, yeah. Dude, fucking Kaniki had a drinking problem already. <laughs> Motherfucker was on taxi and then he comes on Greece. <laughs> Come the fuck on. Uh, let's see. If I can change. And you can change. And you can change. Would you change anything in this movie? I wouldn't, but like like I said. Not even those scenes? No, 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 no. I you say it's classic. Like, like. 80s. Yeah, like, what I would do is, I would want to see it as, as a show. Like, like, again, they made Charles in Charge, like, he could have had fucking powers. Yeah, they could have done that with, with this. Right? He could have, he could have used his powers for good. I don't know. I, I, again, I wouldn't have made a fucking spinoff with Zendaya. Uh, <laughs> uh, with uh, Mary Jane, right, and again, it's not like that she was bad, but uh, a, a movie like this or or a thing like this, it's not for a PG fucking audience. I think because our generation, when we hear like, "Oh, they're gonna redo Zap," they're like, "What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be on Disney." Oh, no. oh. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but it would be interesting to see uh, Maybe if I skip over to this Spin-off or sequel But to see a female version of this But a raunchy one Yeah, yeah Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 yeah um, Girls are cochino too Yeah, and now nowadays that's what you're seeing now, right? Like, um, I don't know why Like, nowadays the, the nudity scene that you see now Is they show dicks And it's like like, what I the fuck? See that. No one wants to see, see that see shit. That. Like, uh, was that that one fucking movie <laughs> where the fucking uh, uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall? Yes, I don't it's, need to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, like, okay, I like Homeboy, but I don't need to yeah, see this junk. They they made that movie with with John Cena recently. Um, uh, blockers. I don't um, see it. Yeah, where they show dick, and it's like, come the fuck on, man. You know, and that's the cheap laugh now. <laughs> It's funny, you know, that we're like, oh, no, that's gross. But yet, back in the days, no problem. Show Bush, your titties, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean. It's perfectly fine. That's it's perfectly what, fine. That's, that's, that was the famous scene in Porky's, right? It's like they have that shower scene where he's fucking uh, spying on the girls in the shower. 
And um, that's why I like stripes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, though that was the classic movie set. <laughs> I know, fucking... I know, it's a different time, and nowadays it'd be frowned upon. But you know, what it is, what it is. Well, just like I, I don't think like Basic Instinct, right? Don't, it was, don't get offended, people. Deal. That we like, we like this movie. <laughs> Yeah, people are gonna be like, "Oh fuck, what kind of filth do they oh, have for us this sexist week?" Sexist guys. They oh. just want to see uh, cochinos. This is what we were given back in the day. Yeah. Hey, and if you want to be mad at anybody, be mad at Rich. You know, it was his pick. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Like, like I said, when when he mentioned this movie on on our uh, on our group page um you know it got a lot of feedback so yeah it was like oh yes yeah it was and it was like again got some run got some run people people from our time they remember it fondly you know it wasn't seen as oh it's so sexist like nowadays we look at it and it's like hey homeboy's a little rapey <laughs> <laughs> and but uh that's what we want from our watchers out there don't be scared to throw something out there post something and um, you know, I, I I like the obscure we like, shit. Yeah, we yeah. like the obscure shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I I like the like. I hope my my hope is during Halloween time or or you know leading up to that, we get some some obscure fucking horror movies that I maybe maybe wouldn't have watched. Or, you know, I got one. I got one for Halloween time. It's kind of like a creep show type of movie. Dude, we've all seen the Twilight Zone the movie. Mm, it's not that one. I'll save it. I'll save okay. it. Okay. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I'll save I, it. You know, we fucking, I don't know. It's like we grew up watching the same <laughs> shit. If we both watch Three's a Crowd, bro, like we probably both watch this horror movie too. Maybe, uh, I don't know. It's I, just, I can't believe I brought up Three's a Crowd and you fucking knew right away what the fuck it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, damn. I don't know. I think there's a part of our generation that grew up in front of the television. Oh, yeah, man. You know what I mean? Again, because we weren't fucking... It was pre-internet. The TV was our babysitter. Yeah. As kids, we weren't fucking left with the babysitter. You know what I mean? It was... Don't open the fucking door to nobody. Yeah. Don't don't fucking answer anybody. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Keep the door. And it wasn't even that we're going to be right back. They're going to be gone all fucking day. <laughs> if you're not going with me, uh, you're not leaving with me right now. You're not going to, you're not getting anything. You're going to stay home. And of course, like fucking as teenage boys, we want to stay home by ourselves a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is the fucking movies that we watched. Yeah. But uh, a lot of it was like, like. Fucking, you know, you stayed home and you watched TV all day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nowadays, kids have an iPad and yeah. back then we had TV. Yeah, we didn't have fucking YouTube, bro. We didn't have YouTube. Like, if we had a Nintendo, we're lucky. You know what I mean? <laughs> if we had a Nintendo to, to, to take some of that time. But, you know, even Tech Mobile got fucking boring after beating it so many fucking times. After or, a while. Yeah. Bases loaded, you know, got boring. After uh, a while, I'd stand right in front of the damn TV and yeah. shoot them ducks because that dog is pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I mean, we fucking we grew up watching TV. Like, like I said, man, I I pick that uh, you know Sunday you'd get the Sunday paper and I'd get that TV guide out of the paper and I'd fucking go through and I would basically plan my whole fucking week. <laughs> you know, like this is what yeah. I was gonna watch now. This is what I'm gonna be watching now. Again. When I had cable, you know, again, my options were a little bit wider. But, you know, there was times when my options were down to fucking six or seven channels. But, you know, you'd, you'd look through it and you'd see that movie that you hadn't seen in a long time. And you'd have to make plans to be like, you know, I got to watch this. I missed that. Appointment yeah. appointment television. Yeah. Like. Or like, if you weren't home Thursday night at 8 o'clock, you were going to miss the Cosbys. Yes. Right? Like, I remember getting... Um, and again, this is, this is early, like when, when maybe I, we had our first kid or second kid, um, but getting upset with them cause it's like, uh, we had set our VCR to watch or to record, 
Because remember, you'd have to set your VCR. Yeah, if you know how to program it. You, uh, if you knew how, yeah. <laughs> uh, you'd program your VCR. <laughs> God, this sounds so fucking old. You program your VCR to watch, to, to record a movie, like, again. And I remember recording Monster Squad, like, it randomly came out on TBS one night. And I hadn't seen it in fucking years. And it randomly came out on TBS. And, and I had, so I had it on VHS, right? And, um, my kid recorded it over it. <laughs> I was like, oh, you shit. That was the worst. Yeah. That was the worst. But, uh, yeah, um, you remember, like, and I remember, like, that's a memory I, that I missed, like, going through all your VHS tapes with handwritten yeah. stuff on the labels. Like, yeah. what is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. They don't have a label. I, I remember my wife and I would, um, we'd record Simpsons and Family Guy. <laughs> like, back in the day. And this is, you know, before they had DVD releases. Like, we'd record them on VHS. Or I'd record, like, me and my friends, we would record South Park. Yeah. Um, And this is back in our day when South Park first came out. Or I have this VHS of the Monday Night Raw that when I was here in San Antonio. Now I can go onto the app and fucking watch it. But, yeah. like, I had the VHS of when I came out on Monday Night Raw. And I'm like this. Oh. You know. you know what I like about uh, recording stuff or old stuff that we recorded in the past? Mm -hmm. I like the commercials. Oh, you hell like, yeah. <laughs> it sounds funny, but it's like when you watch like commercials from the 90s or yeah. even 80s, you're like, what the hell is that? One of my favorite things to do, um, and it'll be random. I'll do it like around, again, around the Halloween time or, or around Christmas is... Uh, Again, I used to be able to get my kids into it. Like, they'd sit down and watch with me, but they don't anymore. Um, my, my daughter does. And she'll say, Dad, let's watch, like, Halloween commercials uh, from the 80s. And we'll fucking, we'll sit there and we'll watch, like, Halloween commercials from nice. the 80s and 90s. And you get to see, like, all those fucking, like, um, the McDonald's toys are, like, some of my favorite commercials. <laughs> I remember back in the day, man, that, like, now they still do it, right? I, as a dad, I know because I, I have to still buy it. But back in the day, man, they used to be elaborate with that shit, man. They used to be fucking nice shit. You but, know, my favorite, like, 90s commercials, it's always like there's a mom in the kitchen and there's a big group of kids just running the house. <laughs> and it was either like purple stuff, OJ, yeah. Sunny D, <laughs> Sunny D. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was always the same though. It was like yeah. Sunny D, or it's like for like uh, pizza rolls or something. Yeah, she, yeah, she'd yeah. Come out, the mom would come out with something. Or but I was like, who are these group of kids that everybody's yeah jumping in their house? Like, but but that's how you sang out back in the day, right? Like yeah. like like nowadays it's like uh, kids don't do that or. If they do, like, it, it's rare, but, like, I remember back in the day, like, it'd be, like, four or five of us, and we'd all spend a night at one of my friend's houses, and fucking, we'd uh, play video games, and, and, and watch TV, and, and shit like that. And I remember, like, um, I used to be that nerd kid that would fucking, that, again, like, I, I liked watching Entertainment Tonight. And access Hollywood and shit like that because I like knowing about the movie industry and stuff like that. But I, I again, you know, I feel bad about it now. It's like I hung around with like the jocks and stuff, and they wouldn't talk that <laughs> the nerd shit with me. Like, yeah, they weren't comic it's all book about getting yeah. girls and cars. Yeah, yeah, and so like I'd be like, yeah, they'd be like, oh, you know, you know who that, you know about these actors? I don't know. I don't fucking, <laughs> I don't fucking watch that shit. I felt the same way. Yeah. I would, yeah. And then, you know, but secretly, I'd be like, man, I need that nerd guy. With me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now I'm here telling y'all <laughs> all my nerd shit. <laughs> uh, that's what it's all about. Yeah, man. Sharing stories. Sharing experiences. And, and, and that's what I like about, like, we're talking about these movies. Because, you know, one of my favorite parts about our podcast is, like, we talk about the movie, but we don't necessarily focus just on the movie is like we talk about how the movie affected us when we were uh at the age that we watched it and stuff mm -hmm. like that or or how we relate to these movies so that, that that's what i like about our show necessarily yes sir like when i when i tell people about it it's like yeah we talk about movies but that's just 
the gist of it. That's the way we get to the podcast and talk about stuff. The what we're talking about is our, ourselves, really, and 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 how our lives are, and and our lives around these movies. You know what I mean? Yep. The movie, they wish to do uh, the movies that made us. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching. Have you been watching those? They, they they released new ones. Yeah, I've seen a few of them. Yeah, I, I was watching the Forrest Gump one the other day. Pretty good. I like the toys that made us. Oh fuck yeah! I, I meant to ask Chuck and Adam if they saw the He Man one of the toys that made us. Yeah, because that's that's <clears throat> what when I was talking on their show that that's what I brought up a lot. Um, uh, is is the stories that came from there and and like uh, this this guy that I do like is uh, named Paul Dini. Uh, that wrote on the early He Man, and he's famous more for writing like Batman the animated series. But uh, man, I, I love his the way he talks about Batman, the way he talks about like the shit like that. Like, I, I, I like that stuff. I just like how like the toys came before the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, how are we gonna sell these toys? And that that's what he was like. Um, he's like, we got. The toys, and we didn't even know, is this a good guy or a bad guy? It's just like, okay. They were just pumping yeah. him out. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, he kind of looks evil. Put him over here. <laughs> All right. Let's go for the taco rating. Uh, it's tough. Yeah, but you know what? It, it's tough, but for me, and and what, what a lot of these 80s movies will have is that classic fucking go-to bean and cheese. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe it's only two, but still it, it's it's the classic, you know. What what's your go to, you know what I mean? Like like I said, the way I judge a restaurant is how good is your bean and cheese. If your bean and cheese is good, then you're a good restaurant. But bean and cheese is good is not good, it's like fuck you. You got two bean and cheese. Uh I'm with you, bean and cheese, but um I would think this is a three. Just because I think uh, yeah. out of this genre, yeah, yeah I think yeah. I like this is one of the top ones for me. Yeah. In this kind of um, raunchy early 80s comedy high no, school. No, no. I, I hear what you're saying on that one. I hear what you're saying on that one. Yeah. I I, I could be swayed to a three. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I, I'll stick with my, it's my bean and cheese. All right. All right. <laughs> Um, let's see, what do we got? So, I was thinking about pulling from the watch box again, but, uh, I want to see if we can maybe squeeze in Suicide Squad. No, yeah. It, it, you know, that's coming out this weekend. That's us. Like, we got to do that. All right. I know I got to work Saturday, but. You work Saturday? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 you do, right? But, uh, we'll squeeze it in. No, no, um, we should be able to get together Sunday. All right, um, but I got high hopes for this one. I oh, I do too. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about the old one too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so so talk about the old one, and then we'll lead up into this one because there's a there's a lot of story about the old one that 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 needs to get into. All right, bring it, bring it. Uh, and if anybody else has any comments about the old one or the new one, we'll post a little something. So we can get your comments on the show yeah. as well. Again, go to our page, please. Go to our our, uh, our Facebook group, and, and we interact with everyone that posts on there. I like, um, I think, his, what's his name? Uh, there's a guy, uh, Christopher Valenzuela. He, he's always uh, posting something up there. Uh, Chris Rizzo, man, he's always giving us shout-outs. Shout so I, I much appreciate that. And, again, uh, just another Friday night, man. They're always giving us love over there. And... Yes, you know, we appreciate it all, man. Yep. So the Facebook group now watch this watchers. Um, you can find us on Instagram and uh, TikTok. I need to start posting more on there though. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Just look for now. Watch this with Lucky and Joe. Yes, and sir. We'll we'll come up somewhere. Um, what else? Oh, threeleggedrabbit.com. Like I said. Yes. We got our shirts up there. Um, Go put um, our face on your body. <laughs> uh, I'm playing around with the hat design. I ordered one just to see how it looks. I want to see how it looks before I put it in the store. 
What else? I I, I want to work on on a design and, and send it to you for sure. All right. Do it. Oh, I, I think you'll like it. I mean, not not a now watch this shirt, but uh, Chris Rizzo did uh, uh, come up with a design for three legged rabbit. It's kind of cool. Got a rabbit with a crutch on there. So check that out. Three legged rabbit shirt by Chris Rizzo. He is he is a, a great artist, and I think he's working on something for just another Friday night. Yeah, so. he's a good dude, man. Yes, sir. We need to have him on. Yeah, yeah. he's he's shy. I've I've uh, I've asked him before. Really? He's like, I don't know what to say. Don't worry about it. Just, just oh, be yourself. Fuck. We we don't know either. <laughs> I was driving up here with yeah. like like what the fuck am I gonna say about this movie? But as you see, I, I'm I'm pretty sure we're delving into three hour. As we get into so. it, it just comes. Yeah. So. Um, that's the show for this week. And remember to keep watching and keep listening. Damn, if I can find the thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Hey, life's a risk, carnal. Tell me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I do a great impression of a hot dog. Billy likes to drink soda. So am I to understand that you men completed your training on your own? That's the fact, Jack! Come on, seriously, who is that? I only came here to do two things, man. Kick some ass and drink some beer. (laughs) Looks like we're almost out of beer. We weren't going to have any trials, so I was off this weekend. And, um... And well, I took advantage of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, hadn't gotten out with the family on the water, so yeah, that was, that's what I was like, man. Went out, that's and then thing. so we went Saturday, dude. Sunday, dude. I was, I'm all fucking sunburned right here, you know? <laughs> all over right here, and I was just like, oh man, I feel like doing shit. She's like, you can get up and go get us food. It's like, fuck no, <laughs> DoorDash. Finally, I did. I should have, man. Uh, I finally I did, and then I got home. I got home. We ate, dude, and fell back to sleep. Man. We're both out of it. Sun kicked our ass. I know how it is, man. Uh, we were supposed dude. To, we were supposed to get out and go to the coast, but I don't know. So you had you had everyone over here yesterday, or you were, you were just online with everyone? No, just online. Okay, okay. Yeah, just online. Need to get you in on one of those, man. We're doing these uh, these round tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just talking, just really talking about nothing. Just um, ah, oh, dude, getting, getting people together. Yeah, I can do it. If I can do it online from home, I can do it. So, well, I mean, shit, I, think I can I, come here. And I do think it. I forgot to send him uh, um, the uh, what's it, the last one that we did. Mm-hmm. Um, Quiet place too. I forgot uh-huh. to send him that one, but uh. The uh, vacation episode they ran it on our on that other uh, network. Oh no shit! Um, um, my wife was telling me she's like, uh, "You say fucking a lot in this episode," <laughs> and she goes, "And then I think she goes, I think like Lucky caught on to you're saying fucking fucking fucking, and he had to get some fucking <laughs> in too." And I was like, "Nah, I um, wouldn't like that." Yeah, um, yeah, if you're cool, we could. Next time we do a round table, you can join in. It's just um, just uh, don't get offended because they get all oh, fuck they get all rowdy and yeah. they, they try to get. Uh, I try not get to per- be. They get personal. Yeah, I try not to be <laughs> offensive. You, could, you um, could be offensive. Yeah, um, just don't get offended. I think like some some of my friends from work, like they're like fucking. One day HR is gonna talk to you because you say some fucking <laughs> shit sometimes. I can fuck y'all. I don't like y'all. <laughs> Let's just go because I don't want to keep you late, man. I know. Fuck yeah. Uh, how long, how long is the movie? Uh, Dude, I'll be honest. I haven't seen it. I, I didn't I, I haven't <laughs> seen it since the first time. I mean, since I've seen it. But I just opened up the DVD right now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah. like, I've seen it before. So it'll be this one will be different because we yeah. like we're uh, we're watching it. You know, for the first time again. <laughs> First time, long time. It'll be good. It'll be good. Yeah. I just kind of wrote a couple things down, but... It's going to be raw.
I had to go uh, after work today, and uh, the kid had senior pictures for football already. Already? So I did, yeah. So we're starting all that senior shit, and it's just like, fuck, man. Like, it, it's kind of hitting that this is his senior year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, it's going to be a rough one, bro. I'm already emotional as it is. <laughs> Just another Friday night, they went through the um, Masters of the Universe this past weekend. Uh, I saw that I was listening back, but it, it yeah. stopped early. Um, on uh yeah, on Friday show they were they were doing Masters of the Universe and it was it was uh it was good. But um man, like I I was like I was freaking out on how um Adam especially man, like he can he they're unless they're talk. watching it back, they can go through like he can go through it like fucking beat for beat. Like I don't think that we could even <laughs> like we do the beat for beat, we're watching the movie as it's going along. But I don't think, like, if we didn't watch the movie, we could go back and, like, just tell the whole movie from start to finish. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I think like, they said they watched it a couple times, though. Even at that, I don't think I could do it. Then live like that, too? Like, I don't think I could. Yeah, what the hell? I should have done all this before. <laughs> I don't know, dude. You maybe the DVD yeah. don't have it. What am I doing wrong? Here? No, I mean there's <laughs> there's some that don't, right? I don't know. It's gotta have closed captioning. It's gotta, right? I mean, it's on here. <laughs> no say. Like it's a Cochino movie, they're not gonna be <laughs> they're not gonna be watching the worst. Well, you wanna watch it like that? No, I'm uh, yeah, I'm good. All right. 